All right, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning back in. In today's tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create the school progress bar using the brand new spring animation technique Figma has just released. Progress bars or loading animation are simple things you can add to your prototypes that will take it to the next level. So let's get into it. The first thing I'll do is click R on my keyboard and draw a rectangle. I'll make it 6 by 200 pixels and round its corners radius all the way up. Let's name this shape base. Next step is to create an actual progress bar on top of our base layer. So I'll select the base layer and hit on command D to duplicate it. I like to give this layer a rainbow color. So I'll click on fill and change it from solid color to linear. Align this line from left to right and add more colors by clicking on the color line. Just like that. And let's name it progress bar. The next step is to select both layers and convert them to a component by clicking on Option Command K. The reason I'm using components here is because components allow us to create micro interaction inside of a component instead of a frame to frame. Now let's add a variant to that component by clicking on this plus icon under Properties, select Variant, and again on the plus icon on our component here. A shorter way to do that is to select our component and simply click on this plus icon up here. This gives our component two variants and we can make design changes to each one the way we like. So I'll select my first variant and drag that progress bar layer all the way down. But if we zoom in you can see I have this small pixel here because we can't drag it more than that. What's cool about Figma is that in those situations we can go to our width value and type in 0.001. And now the layer is there, but the width value is so small we can't see it. So as you can see, the first variant is an empty progress bar and the second variant is a full bar. Now for my favorite part, let's prototype it. I'll select my default variant and click on the prototype tab. I'll drag the plus icon from the first variant to the second variant. I'll change the interaction from on click to after delay that will trigger the animation automatically after 800 milliseconds. And I'll change the animation from instant to smart animate. Now, for those of you who don't know what is smart animate, Figma takes into account the layer's names and properties like size, color, position, and so on. For those layers that match between frames, Figma recognizes what's changed and applies transition to animate between them. Hopefully that makes sense. Next, if you click on the drop-down list, you'll see that we have a few new spring animation options like gentle, quick, bouncy, slow, and custom. Of course, you can play with it and choose the one that's best for you, but in my case, I'll choose slow and set the timing to 3000 milliseconds. Now I want to create an instant of that component to our app frame. So let's drag that component outside of our frame, select the first variant, and hold option plus drag to create an instant. Let's position it and click on the play button. And there you go, we have created this simple animation progress bar just like the one on Figma. Okay, don't forget to follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Great progress, guys. Get it? Progress? Never mind.